Listen here, wise guy, I'm gonna show you some creations and you're gonna look at them, see? That's the way it works. But first... How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dumb Guy. Today we're gonna be taking a look at a couple of flyers and a shooter. Bang, bang, bang. So let's take a look. Let's get this show on the road. First thing we're taking a look at here, this is called the Golden Arrow. He's so very flat. And it uh, handles pretty good. I call it an agility jet. Uh, there's no weapons on it. Uh, it would probably just end up slowing it down. But uh, no other moving parts except for the uh, fins on the back here. As you can see, open back design. It's like a flying V. Got some uh, wings in the front here for lift. And other than that, all the controls and steering happen back here. With this set of wings and some uh, stabilizers. And we have our thrusters here on the back and a couple single ones in the front and some small ones in the grass on the belly and let's have a look see what she does build it into the world face it that way hit number one and just WASD steering So I call it an agility jet because it, uh, it's got really good steering, really good handling. Once you get used to the uh, the strength that the steering is at, you can actually do some pretty good dog fighting and maneuvering in this thing. So yeah, 230 mile an hour. It'll do faster if you're going in a straight line. Ooh. Goes even slower when you run into something. Alright, let's try an over the water takeoff here. Oh, no. Let's try an under the water takeoff. Let's not it. See, we did. So, yeah, that's the Golden Arrow. That is available on the shop. If you're looking for a handy fighter to uh, not necessarily dogfight. I don't know. I didn't, I've never tried putting weapons on it, so I don't know how it'll fly with weapons. Yeah, maybe download it, modify it, put some weapons on it, and see what it does for a dogfighter. Probably be pretty good. Let's try and loop around and fly through the through the tunnel, man. Shouldn't be too bad. Piece of chocolate cake. Piece of cake. Piece of chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. No problemo. And under the bridge. What? Oh, no, we can't go through it to get under it. Valiant effort. Valiant, valiant effort. Meanwhile, back at the spawn point. <laughs> next creation was a viewer request they wanted a plane with guns and drops dynamite bombs so once again take it to the next level and build a VTOL this is kind of weird again this the, the flight wings are on top there you can see it's not the actual main wings there's no rotation in the main wings but uh, let's have a fly and see how she does. So, BTOL, so spacebar is a vertical lift. Pull back on the nose to keep it level. As you can see, no problemo. Then we hit number one. Takes us into forward thrust mode. Adds additional thrusters as well. So we get some speed. Now I'm still holding the space bar, or we can let go of the space bar. Just be in cruising mode. We'll fly like that. 
or with spacebar gives you full thrust. Now, left shift. Six cannons. Also in the belly, we have number two, which will open up two double dynamite fire bombs. So we'll come by here and bomb this. Number three releases your bombs. Away they go. Oh, we still got one. Get out of there. Oh, it's up there's gonna be a wall. Let's try that again from here. We are VTOL, so this should not be a problem. Let's get out of here. Number one. Number two. Number three. And there they go. Closes those doors. So that is the Beth Bomber. As you can see, it's also got an open cockpit in the front. There's dual seats. And you can see me in there. So you can't actually fly this from the first person. It's designed to have the open cockpit like this, so you can actually fly it like this. Stable enough that you can fly it like this. So that sign was our target. Boom! So, yeah, that's actually really fun to fly from first person. Gives you a nice clear view, gives you some indication of your speed and tilt that you're at. Stable enough that you can. So that's the Beth Bomber. Alright, let's head back to spawn point and take a look at our last build. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave the Beth Bomber right there and then we're gonna come over here. And I'm going to be facing this way because this one's a little uh, volatile, this build. This is called the Mauler Crawler. Again, a viewer request for a steady stream cannon. Cannon that would just fire at a steady, a steady stream of shots. So, I took eight cannons, mounted them on twin servos. So I got four on either. And they rotate and spin and hit a sensor that fires them when they get to a certain point. But because it's set on sensors, you gotta try and find a dead spot. Yes, where it's not firing. So, this is the Mauler Crawler. As you can see, two main cannons. Kinda looks like a face. The Arrow keys allow you to drive the vehicle. Put it wherever you want. Your WASD actually rotates and tilts the head of the cannon. See the cannons inside there on their servos for spinning. And then when you are ready to fire, you just hit left shift, sorry, number one. And away it goes. Oh, 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 oh. It's nice when you can get when you hit number one again to turn it off and it doesn't keep spitting. And every now and then you'll turn it off and it'll just blow itself up. Which is always fun. Alright. Adios, bomber. I'm just 
glad it doesn't blow itself up. Pretty cool looking cannon though. It's pretty good destruction. Pretty good range. One cannon, it's a lot of destruction. Yeah, so the Mauler Crawler available on the shop as well. So, I think we're going to leave that one right here. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.